Hi everyone, today we will talk about uh, how to gather the SAML trace logs. So if your organization has set up the single sign-on and they have added you as federated ID and while signing in on any website or maybe for example you go to adobe.com and try to sign in and you get uh, a window that sign in is not successful or 404 bad request. So this happens that because maybe some of the attributes are not able to pass from the backend. So in order to check what exactly is happening at the backend, we need the SAML logs. So ideally, uh, the four key attributes that we will look for is the name ID, email address, first name, and the last name. So how you can gather the SAML logs. So for example, you contacted Adobe and they asked you to gather the SAML logs so that they can check what exactly is happening at the backend. So you can gather SAML logs from any of the browser. Uh, over here, I'll show you how to gather the SAML logs using Google Chrome or uh, Firefox browser. So all you need to do is uh, you need to go to google.com and look for SAML trace for uh, Firefox. It will open up a website. You just have to open the extension and add it to Fox. So once this extension is added on your Firefox, you will see an icon on the top right hand side for SAML trace. So now the next step will be you just have to open the SAML trace uh, dialog box. And after that, you can just go to adobe.com. You can uh, just try to sign in on adobe.com uh, complete the whole workflow like enter your username password and everything and once everything is done and on the last screen uh, you get uh, the sign in uh, the sign in failure so after that we need uh, the saml trace log so over here in the saml trace you can see uh, that it has captured all the logs so all we need to do is we just have to export them and it will be in the form of JSON file. So this JSON file, you can just provide to the support agent so that they can check at their end and uh, guide you with the next troubleshooting steps. So this is how you can get the SAML trace in Firefox. So now I'll show you how to get the SAML trace in Google Chrome as well. So again, you just have to look for the SAML trace on google.com for uh, Google Chrome. Now, once you open the the web page again you just have to add the extension to google chrome and this extension will be added on your browser but in case you need uh, the same on the incognito mode so you can just go to the properties of that particular extension and you can enable it to show it on the incognito mode so this way uh, this extension will be available on incognito window as well so for example this you can see uh, there is an extension for saml trace so now all you need to do is you just have to open the panel once again for SAML tracer and you just have to follow the same process what you what we did on Firefox. So you just have to go to adobe.com, sign in uh, with your Adobe ID, uh, with your federated ID and at the back end, it will start capturing all the logs. So once everything is done and you get a uh, failed sign in, again, you just have to export it as a JSON file and this JSON file, you can provide it to uh, the support engineer and they can analyze it at their end and they can check what exactly can be done for this case. So I hope uh, I was able to give you the information how to capture the SAML logs and this will help you. In case you have any questions, just feel free to comment uh, on this video and we will try to answer you back. Thank you.